Taiwan's academic pressure can be brutal, and even children aren't immune. On social media, a cram school teacher shared the weekly schedule of a brother and sister in elementary school. Seven days a week, the siblings wake at 5.50 a.m. Bedtime is 11.30 p.m. In between, they're busy with school, extracurriculars, and cram school. The Facebook post went viral, even getting a response from Taiwan's education minister. He called on parents to ensure that kids don't get overwhelmed. It truly must be taken into consideration how, at each stage of learning, students are provided a balanced schedule so that children can be healthy physically and mentally throughout their education. Adequate sleep is quite important for day-to-day -day learning, future development, and even for character growth, mood, and mental health. There should be more consideration given to non-academic factors, factors that have to do with physiology and growth. This is important for children's mental development and personality development. When I saw this schedule, I was brought to my knees. I do think that if the children were truly unwilling to keep to the schedule, their parents wouldn't be able to force them. The children are exemplary. They perform very well. According to the teacher who posted the schedule, the siblings are doing well and have no developmental issues. But a doctor warns that sleeping just over six hours a day is not advisable. The National Sleep Foundation recommends 9 to 11 hours of sleep every night for children aged 6 to 13.